Looks like you caught me red-handed. I was trying to get some beer. So, uh, first things first, happy summer. Got some Sam Adams summer ale right here. Oh, it's so good. Goodness. So anyway, this is going to be a tutorial. Going out to my buddy Adam. He's a little sick and feeling under the weather. I was supposed to show him how to do this right here. But uh, I figured I'd make a little tutorial on how to censor something. Now, this is very, very basic. I'm using Final Cut. I'm not using After Effects and all that stuff. Um, it's going to be just a basic black bar. Uh, if you wanted to do anything kind of special, like to have the pixelated thing uh, over the sensitive areas, or if you wanted to have like um, uh, something like that, that's definitely After Effects. But like a black bar or a, or a JPEG uh, will work for this. Like let's say you wanted to put like a picture of a, uh, you know, picture of um, Barack Obama's head over, uh, you know, some junk. It, you can do it in Final Cut as well. You don't have to go into After Effects. So um, let me let me show you how this is done. Pretty simple. Move this down here so you can see me. Kind of like the way I like to do things. So I have the um, the shot right here. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing some pretty embarrassing boxer briefs. I don't wear boxer briefs all the time. I wear boxers, and I'll prove it. You can check it out down here. I'm wearing my I Love Beer uh, boxers. Now I have a wedgie. So I'm a boxer guy. I'm not a boxer brief kind of guy. But unfortunately, you know, I needed to wear something kind of tight so that it was easy to cover with the uh, with the sensor bar. So you can see I I uh, come out right there. I notice the cooler and I just kind of put the cooler uh, and I slide away. So you saw the beginning. We're gonna we're gonna cover myself to make it look like I was naked. So I have an in and out point already set from when I was practicing this. Let's just drop that into the timeline. Oh, look at this. Uh, this is just telling you that your sequence down here should be set to the same settings as your media. If you have an up-to-date Final Cut, this should be, um, this should, this should come up. If you have Final Cut 5, you won't get this. Final Cut 6, I don't, I'm not sure. But you click yes and automatically uh, sets your sequence to your clips and you can see down here you have a gray bar it's not green it's not red it's gray you're perfectly good to go um, so yeah so the next thing you want to do is I'm gonna what I what I like to do is I'm just gonna use a slug so I'm just gonna kinda move this over for a second I like to right click and hit fill with slug so it gives me it gives me a little piece of uh, video you know just some black to use uses a slug you know it's all good. This isn't my first beer of the night. Might be slurring a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the point where I want the 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 um the sensor bar to have to come in. So I'm hit, holding the letter K, tapping L to advance forward. So it seems right about there. That's the frame that we're gonna start the bar, the uh, sensor bar on. So I'm gonna kind of keep the cursor there. I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna slide the uh, the bar, the black bar over to where that begins. And then where am I going to end this now? So let's go back to here. You can see my junk pretty well. Right about, uh, almost, almost right about there. I, I don't think the audience will notice the, um, the little bit of my boxer brief showing through. I think by this point they'll probably be looking at my face. But you know, all right, just for safe measure, let's say there. So that's the frame we want to end on. I'm going to go backwards one frame and I'm going to just pull the, um, the slug over to fit. So that's where the uh, censoring will happen. Pretty simple for now. So how do we get, how do we shrink down the, uh, the, the slug and then make it match where I'm walking? That's the hard part. Uh, it's a little, you're going to have to go frame by frame. I'm gonna go frame by frame. I practiced this before, and it's easier to go frame by frame. So it's a little time consuming. A little time consuming. I'm gonna have to speed up the video, but uh, let's start. So let's bring. So here we are. Boom. Uh, now the slug is sitting on top of the other footage, so it's literally on top. Uh, make sure you up here you have the image and wireframe selected. 
that's what this greenish line is and this X. Now what you can do is you can grab up here, you can grab the corner and it'll turn into a little crosshair. You see that? It'll turn into a crosshair like that. And you can click and hold and drag it down and uh, basically you're shrinking the, uh, the image. What you can also do is before you click your mouse button, hit the shift key. So I'm hitting the shift key. I'm holding the shift key right now. Click it and see what you can do. You can squash it. You can distort it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click and drag, drag it down here, and I'm going to squash and distort this holding the shift key. So I really only need about that much at the moment. I'm just going to place it right over my junk. So that's step one. So then you, what you want to do is you want to come back over here, make sure you double click the slug. You want to go up to the motion tab and you want to set keyframes. Now you just need to set the keyframe for the first one. So what that means is um, a keyframe is like kind of like an animation. Like, let me, let me bring this up to you. So they're called keyframes because they're set. They're going to be there. You're telling the computer that those are the frames that it's going to be. So when you set a keyframe here and a keyframe here, the computer will animate from one to the next. So let me just demonstrate that for you. Bring this down. So here, so I'm going to I'm going to make the keyframe here. So right now we want to do scale, center, and distortion on the aspect ratio. Now I'm setting the you can set keyframes for lots of different things and then those are the things that will animate. So right now the scale, which is the size, the uh, center point, which is the little green dot in the middle, the center, where the thing is, and the aspect ratio down here is what I'm changing as well because it's we're distorting it. So those three things are keyframes. If I only hit one of them, only that will change throughout the thing. So let's say I come to the end, sort of near the end here, and I set another keyframe for these three guys, and I'm change the um, the thing to that. Now when you see it, when I play it through. I only set two marks, so I set the beginning and I set the end. And the computer animates, Final Cut animates from the one keyframe to the next. But I'm going to cancel that. So I undoed, I undid all of that. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to go frame by frame. So I'm going to do a few and then I'm going to speed it up. So you don't have to hit the keyframe buttons over here again, but I am gonna, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I'm double clicked on the slug on the bottom. I'm just gonna make sure that that's there as well. So just make sure on your timeline you've double clicked and you selected the slug. So you can see here, it, it's double clicked and it's selected. I need another sip of beer. Excuse me. Ah, okay. So hold K, tap L. I've advanced one frame. So I'm gonna Hold shift. I'm gonna go frame by frame. Boom. Next frame. Okay, hold shift. Make it a little wider. Bring them over here. A little bit more. Boom. Next frame. So you can see this starts to get a little time consuming, but it pays off in the end. Go a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm going to speed up the tape. So, I went frame by frame. I probably you could probably see a little bit of a few screw ups in there. Now, you see that? See right there? That's a big screw up. So it's. This will happen, especially if you're a beginner. I don't do this very often. But, um, so let's go back in and fix this right here. So obviously, there's a couple of keyframes that need to be fixed. So let's go back in and fix it. Okay, let's try it now.
there you go. For me, it's a little tedious. Now, I don't have any experience with After Effects. I'm a editor. I, I deal with uh, picking the right performance, uh, making sure I can tell the story the right way. I'm not a wizard when it comes to effects and, and titles and things like that. I, I It's probably dating me. It's probably something I need to start to pick up and learn. It's something I definitely will learn. But um, at the moment, it hasn't, it hasn't been crucial that I needed to know After Effects. Everything I've needed to do, I've been able to do in Final Cut pretty much. Um, I'm not doing uh, Fruit Ninja. I'm not doing uh, lightsaber videos. I'd love to, but that stuff is just way too tedious for me, and editing itself is tedious as it is already. Um, so, but hey, if I can get a paying gig, I'll definitely uh, learn it. Uh, all right, so there you go. There's uh, the tutorial on how to censor somebody. Um, one last thing I guess I'd like to say is um, Final Cut Pro X. Uh, my little afterthoughts here on that. I'm going to get it. Um, I need to do a few more paying gigs because I have some bills and things. Um, but I will get it. Uh, as for tutorial, I'm going to learn as much as I can about it. I'm, how can I give a tutorial about something that I don't know Anyway, so how can, I, how can I teach something that I still have to learn? So if there, um, once I do get it and once I learn some tips and tricks, and if anyone has any questions regarding that, I'll definitely make a tutorial video. I actually can't wait. Um, for a lot of the things that it doesn't have, um, I'm still really interested in learning how the magnetic timeline works and, and uh, the compound clips and all the sorts of stuff it, it can do with the background rendering. I really want to give it a give it a shot. I, I'm I'm still intrigued by it. Everyone seems to hate it by now, but I'm still intrigued by it. And I'm looking to get a few. I'm looking to do a few small projects on it. Uh, nothing that I'm getting paid for, but it's something that I can learn with. So um, this is sort of a throwaway tutorial. I didn't really get asked by anyone to do this. I just wanted. I just thought it would be good to help out my friend Adam. So Adam, if you're sick at home and you're, you're viewing this, you know. Take some vitamin C, sit down, have a beer maybe, and censor the short film you're working on. Uh, excuse me. So there you go. My monitor just went kind of dark. And happy editing.